Now then, I'm pretty excited for today because Redneck Roadkill sent me an extra package. I guess they saw that last one that I did and uh, they must have liked it enough that they sent me this and a nice little letter. So, uh, really, I guess I should just kind of tell you what they're about. It's a real company that makes the Redneck Roadkill. Uh, I purchased it at Walmart and, you know, it was kind of goofy and, and they self-admit, kind of goofy kind of stuff, but they're a real company. They, wanna, they really wanted to tell us that they're real companies. Uh, so much so, we got this, this new one here, Camel Towing, and they also got some new ones coming out called a Zombie Roadkill Escape. Uh, Bow Skeeters Bait Tackle and Tow and Tailgate Party. Uh, so they say team mascots watch out. So, yeah, watch out for them. You can see more at redneckroadkillrc.com for preview. But today is Daisy Joe's Camel Towing. And uh, instead of being, you know, mauling and armadillos and kangaroos and stuff, uh, this one's more about mauling road signs because, you know, it's a tow truck and all, I guess. So uh, let's just get into it. Camel Towing, Redneck Roadkill. Mother trucking, varmint smashing, radio control. And on a, on a truck, maybe you can see, yeah, you see the same I do. Uh, top quality tow, working tight spots, 24 hours. Daisy Joe's camel towing, scratching and grabbing since 69. <laughs> Call for a hookup, so that's what we're working with today. So it says, uh, I think a 124th scale RC they said. Oh, and this age is 14 plus and caution supervision required, it says. Uh, in case you're a regular to my channel, you may notice I'm talking a little bit different today, and this is the real me, because I'm from Georgia and you know I work pretty hard on keeping my accent in check for the normal videos, but you know, this is Daisy Joe we're talking about here, so you know, we'll do a real Daisy Joe review. So we got ourselves a bag of trinkets. We got ourselves some instructions. Some camel towing contents. One radio control, 124 scale. We're working suspension. Ooh, -hoo wee. Look at that. Look at, look at that suspension go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, a remote controller, full function. Forward, back, uh, right, and left. Over 14 stand-up cardboard accessory play pieces, including varmints, billboards, tombstones, road signs, and others. Let's see. Uh, let's turn these over so I can see them. Because, I mean, they don't do much good if you can't see what I'm talking about. All right. Ooh, got some stickers. Lots of, uh, lots of stickers. Stickers over here. All right, so uh, I guess there, there's still some varmints. We got what looks to be some weird old possum, uh, m maybe some sort of porcupine, prickly pine. Uh, we got some road signs. We go mall to road signs. Oh, we got a steel. Uh, that looks like a single X steel. That, that, that ain't no triple distill. Not that I know nothing about steels. All right, here we go. It's all laid out. Oh, we got tombstone. Bubba, Bubba Banjo Jammer, second fastest draw in Texas. Uh, I guess that's why he's dead. 1952 to 2005. That's a, that's an interesting one. Uh, rip, rip, or, or, rip, yeah. Rip Armadillo, 1962 to 2001. That's an old armadillo. Uh, happier than a pig in shit. Oh, yeah, 14 plus, I guess. Mother plug and barbecue. You kill them, we grill them. Next exit. And 24th annual Rocky Mountain Testy Fest. Over 100 recipes to suck on. Come have a ball or two. <laughs> that's the August 3rd, uh, August 1st through 3rd, 2018. So that's coming right up. Or, no, no, we're already in August. I missed it. Maybe next year. What else we got? Uh, more, more of these tombstones. Here lies. I can't read upside down. Here lies Hubcap Slim, deceased 1997, forever one beer short of a six pack. Dang. Dang, Bubba Slim. No, Hubcap Slim. Bubba Slim would be more appropriate, but whatever. Squirrel Crossing, protect your nuts. Beware dangerous gases. Target shooting forbidden. And, and of course, people done shot the sign up. So there's that. All right, we got our signs. 
So I guess for this game, we just kind of do something like this. We stand the signs up and then we run over them. Because if we go through the instructions here. All right, let's see what we got. All kinds of things to read. Battery cautions. We recommend to only use fresh batteries for optimum performance. Only use alkaline non-rechargeable batteries. Do not mix old and new batteries and never mix alkalines or standard carbon zinc batteries. Non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged. Rechar- uh, uh, yes, uh, batteries. That's way, way too much info. All right, transmitter functions. Follow these controls to operate vehicle correctly. Remote range approximately 50 feet. I mean, they got a pretty long antenna, so I guess I get you about 50 feet. Vehicle operation. Start, move, switch to bottom of vehicle in the on position. Uh, forwards and reverse. Push left joystick up to move the vehicle forward or reverse. Push the right joystick left to turn vehicle left or right to turn the vehicle right. I don't know if I got that right, but you know, left and right. FCC caution changes or modifications not expressly approved by the party responsible for compliance could void the user's authority to operate the equipment. So very important. And uh, camel toe and play accessories. This product comes with over 14 stand-up play accessories for your redneck roadkill truck to run over, avoid, or play in any way. Have fun creating your own games and obstacle courses for your vehicle to maneuver. Follow the tab under each of the play accessories to allow them to stand, in quotation marks, stand. This may take some trial and error to get the tab flat, allowing for the accessories to stand. So that's the game, I guess. They didn't have as much uh, game instructions as the last one did, but that's fine, because I didn't really read those either. Yeah, so that's pretty much it on the game. We got all these fancy signs, and we got things to run over. We got, we got all kinds of things to run over. I mean, who wouldn't like that? Especially if you're into towing or camel toes. All right, so let's take a look at this vehicle here. All right, top quality tow, working tight spots, 24 hours, snatching and grabbing since 69. Oh, look at pretty good detail, honestly. Uh, call for a hookup, top quality tow, best hookup around. I think we covered them. Call for late night hookups, working tight spots, day and night. Signed Daisy Joe. Oh, we got a uh, we got a American flag here that's in the shape of a voluptuous woman. Yes, sir. That's uh, you know about Americans you can get. And camel towing when life's a ditch. Let's see, if we got anything else? Yep, that's pretty much it. You know they got their bullet holes. So you know got yourself some bullet holes. Oh, you got your score. You gotta you gotta have your score of how many things you killed. Let's see, uh, looks like one Pokemon has been killed. Uh, one, uh, maybe, I guess that's a possum. And what's this other thing? We got two kills on a, kind of looks like a Daffy Duck. Maybe. And then uh, eight kills on, I'm going to guess it's a squirrel, but man, there's no telling when it's that tiny. Pretty. It looks like a squirrel that's maybe flipping the bird, I think. Yes, sir. Oh, repair, service, and snatch. So if we take a look at the vehicle, I mean, it's a toy grade vehicle, but it's actually a 124 scale body. Uh, it's got a 110 millimeter wheelbase. Um, I don't know what that is in English measurements for all you Yanks, but uh, it's actually got a, a pretty nice detail to it. Like they, they, they finished it out real nice. It's, it's got all sorts of little things in the bed, little, little you know, toe hook here. So what I think I may do is actually just kind of take the body off and put it on my ECX temper because that's also 124 scale. It's uh, it comes with a 120 millimeter wheelbase, which is close enough to 110. I could probably make it work, uh, but if I can't, I, I can just change the wheelbase on that ECX, I guess. But uh, kind of neat. I think for the price, I'd probably just buy it for the body because it's pretty good. Um, yeah, got a little detail on there. I mean, it's a lot better than what I do, for sure. So, I mean, it's got to be worth it for that. And uh, I guess we need to put some batteries in. And um, I, I forgot to bring batteries. This is a battery-operated toy. And, yep, so than me. I kind of forgot that part. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of pretend. I got all the points, I reckon, because they didn't really define any games, but uh, my game is having fun, so I got all the points possible for having fun. 
and it'll get no better but that. All right, anything else in the letter that might be of interest? All right, uh, so we're talking about Daisy Joe's camel tone today. Notice that the mall in here is directed towards billboards, fence posts, and other things. You know, this might be a little outraging to some people, but uh, I think I think I kind of get the humor this time. Now, uh, I mean, what else can we say, really? It, it's got pretty good detail on this here. Um, you know, it's a pretty inexpensive toy being $30, but I think it'd be a good bit of fun to play with, or maybe just for taking for, taking for the body. You know, I'm more of a more of a real RC car guy myself, so so these, these little toy ones aren't so interesting for very long once they go through the battery once. But you know, I bet my kid would like it. I got a five year old. Uh, he's actually pretty good at driving the crawlers, so this might be a little simple for him. But when we're just inside having some fun, I don't I don't think there'd be any harm in it. You know. So uh, yeah, if you got any more questions about it, maybe uh, we didn't get enough up close shots and you want to yell at us for it, then you know, don't post down in the comments, just give me a thumbs down or something like that, I guess. Uh, but if you got any real questions that don't pertain to this vehicle, feel free to post them up in the comments and I'll, I'll probably get to them in a year or two, maybe. Uh, otherwise, you know, thank y'all for tuning in. It's a pretty cool little product here. Maybe we'll see some more from Redneck Roadkill because, you know, I, I think they got my number at this point. And that's, uh, yeah, I'll be some fun. So see y'all later.